What is going on, everyone? Welcome into Big Time Football Talk. So we got a big episode today. I want to break down Javon Holland, Oregon uh, safety, nickelback corner, uh, slot corner, whatever you want to refer to him as, listed as safety in the draft. And I want to talk about, first off, how did they use him? Okay, so here's the background before we get into the film analysis. Oregon ran a 3-3-5. Uh, for those of you not familiar with the 3-3-5 defense, it is uh, – three linemen, three linebackers, and five defensive backs. The strength um, for Oregon's defense, they had a lot more speed and athletic players in the secondary is, you know, like they do in most years because Oregon, you know, recruits well in the secondary. So that's why this kind of uh, defense really made sense. Holland played in the nickelback position. Um, so he usually in three receiver sets would cover the slot receiver. And, uh, you know, this position – is uh, you know a good fit for Holland because you must be able to you know quick be quick at reading defense, a good communicator, a good leader in the secondary, and that's you know that really fit the mold for Javon Holland. Um, so and you got to be able to shed blocks and come up and make tackles, uh, come at a good angle. And you know Javon Holland, as we'll get into the film, did a, you know a great job of doing all these things. And I really like Javon Holland, and you know opted out this year in 2020, but. Yeah, did not play his junior season, but I think, you know, Javon Holland, the more I've watched him, the more I love him, and we'll, we're going to watch, uh, you know, a few games, those being the Oregon State-Stanford game, and um, one other, one other game, what's the other game I have? Um, I have one other game, too, uh, to show, and uh, yeah, so... Yeah, so that's, uh, yeah, Devon Holland. Uh, you know, Mulrig is uh, kind of the consensus number one. But, uh, you know, let's get straight to the uh, film breakdown for uh, Javon Holland. So let's start with this first play from against Oregon State. So if you see, this is a good example right here because he's lined up in the slot. You know, Oregon State is a three-wide receiver set. You see him, see him circled right here. See, this is a good play because he's man-to-man -man coverage. Demonstrate what an ability, great ability he had man-to-man. -man. So he stays stride for stride, and that's that's a long time to cover man-to-man. -man. Makes the tremendous pass break up against the uh, Oregon State wide receiver. Let's see, we'll we'll show it again here. This is just, this is just incredible. This is yeah, long time to cover downfield. Goes up, high points, pass break up. Love that play. Next play against Stanford here. This ability to come up and make a, a tackle on the run. See, Oregon, see, in this play, he's in zone coverage. And, uh, you know, his responsibility, like a touchdown, he can't let that guy get outside and he, cause he's kind of the last line of defense because in, in, uh, in the zone coverage, the corner has all that deep area, and he has to, uh, you know, stay in a zone for a moment and then come up at a good angle breaks down makes an incredible just a great yeah great job by holland there coming he is against a slot against stanford another ability just shows his ability to one-on-one -on -one to cover just outstanding outstanding job there by javon holland stanford he had a he had a big game he made he made almost every single tackle did not miss any tackles just yeah tremendous job stride for stride you know shows his ability in man coverage and then right here, his ability to, you know, come up, get off blocks. You know, a lot of guys struggle to really get off block, but Javon Holland does a tremendous job of, uh, you know, getting off blocks and going to make a tackle. Here he has another swing pass, comes up, makes a tackle. And here it is again. Outstanding job by Javon Holland. See, how? yeah, Holland just – his ability to, you know, do those those three things so well. It was it's no wonder why, you know, Nickelback was just the perfect fit for Holland in this defense. His ability to come up, you know, and stop the uh stop the run, get off blocks, keep contained, you know, cover his own coverage, man coverage in the slice. It's no wonder yet. Yeah, Nickelback fit well. Uh, for Holland, and it shows why, you know, Oregon had so many sacks because of, you know, his ability to cover. It was just outstanding. Outstanding. So here, here's the thing with Javon Holland. I, I mean, the weaknesses, weaknesses are really size thing, and I, I, I don't know. I don't think that's a concern. I'm not, I'm not one that gets into size as a concern because you look at there's a lot of undersized receivers in the NFL, but, uh, but yeah, I mean, I don't know. 
And here's the thing: it's yeah, they and they also they also knock on him is it's tough to project what he's going to be in the NFL. Is he going to be a, is he going to play slot corner? Is he going to play safety? You know, that's the thing about you know probably likely not going in the first round because they don't know. You know what I mean? It's it's kind of high to take a slot corner first round. Um, they think Las Vegas would be a pretty good fit for him because you know the uh, Las Vegas is in need of a slot corner. Um, so, but yeah, Javon Holland, I, such a tremendous job tackling and you know taking good angles. You know, tackling has become such a crucial part of the NFL now, and uh, yeah. So, and his you know his ability to cover one on one. If anything, you know the the Arizona State game I didn't show, but that you know there was some games where he had trouble covering. But I mean that was against Brandon Ayuk and uh, Frank Darby, the two NFL caliber receivers. Um, you see, you know, you see guys struggle when they, you know, sometimes in college when they go against NFL uh, caliber receivers. But uh, yeah, Holland, uh, his freshman year, four interceptions, and then his sophomore year, five interceptions. So not only does he put himself in position, he's also had the ability to, you know, make the interception as well. You know, which is, you know, something that Caleb Farley has to another top defensive back. It's one thing to get yourself in position, but can you also, you know, get that key turn- turnover? You know, in the NFL with so many games, you know, coming decided by uh, one possession, that turnover can be the difference between a win and a loss, and, you know, in a, any given game. So, you know, uh, Holland, a Jim Thorpe semifinalist, a uh, you know second team All Pac-12 safety, um, yeah. And there's uh, you know just so so many positives you know that I've run through you know quickly a few here, but uh, you know I'm excited. I'm so excited to see uh, you know what Javon Holland can do, and I'm so anxious uh, to see what he can do because you know he was a guy that's getting a lot of first round buzz coming into this season. You know, Trevin Mulrick, I think is a consensus number one safety because Mulrick just does so many, so many things well, like Holland in coverage, but he's, I think even more, uh, faster, probably a little more athletic and just Mulrick is just an incredible at taking angles and making tackles, uh, likely do a breakdown on Mulrick too, but, uh, yeah. So uh, yeah, like I said, our six foot one ninety six uh, came in, uh, former four star recruit uh, at Oregon, and then uh, yeah, over the course of his career, Holland accumulated one hundred nineteen tackles, uh, one hundred sixteen were solo, five tackles for loss, thirteen interceptions, nineteen pass deflections. But. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, it's kind of tough. Uh, he's another guy, like I said, would love to see him, love to see what he could have done if he played this year. But, uh, yep, I guess uh, we'll see where he goes. I think, you know, I think second – I think he'll go somewhere in the second round, uh, you know, maybe early third round. And, uh, you know, if you need a slot corner, he can be a p- uh, pretty good one. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to wrap with that. That's all I have today. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in to uh, this episode of Big Time Football Talk. Until next time, peace.